Good day, everyone, and welcome to the first episode in what we're now going to call season two of Production Line. Uh, season one, we died horribly. Um, and what we did was we made all the mistakes that a noob could make in trying to run a production line. And we've learned a few things which we're going to try and put into operation in this particular scenario. Two goals. Number one goal, don't go broke. And number two goal is don't borrow money where at all possible. Uh, and that reminds me now, I can't remember who was credited with the quote, but the quote was, I think it was Warren Buffett. I don't know if he originated it though, but the quote was, rule one, don't lose money. Rule two, refer to rule one. That's it. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, he did it from an investment point of view. Our goal is to do it from a manufacturing point of view. We're going to do the mega factory, which we picked up in um, as our first playthrough. Uh, we are going to be called Grumpy Autos. Uh, Grumpy Auto. Grumpy Auto. Yeah, Grumpy Auto Industries. Why not? And we're going to be in a very familiar setting. This is, in fact, the same layout that sent us broke last time. Although, to be fair, it wasn't the layout that sent it broke. It was my excellent management skills. Um, so I want to start off slowly today by pausing the game for a start. And then I think what we should do is put some blueprint slots in. Because I have a slightly new plan. Because I have not finished the game yet. So I still don't know what I'm looking for in the end game. But I've got a rough idea what not to do in the start of the game. And that is um, not to grow too quickly but to always make sure that we've got money in the bank while we're doing it. So small changes to the floor are the way forward. So just looking at this uh, again, before I started up the game, uh, I'm thinking of running from the chassis assembly through quality check, where we roughly started before, but making a right-hand turn about here and coming out here. And the reason being that I feel that later on in the game, it might be beneficial to divide the factory and have several outputs coming through. Possibly ones down here for uh, cars that don't require the same amount of work um, that other cars do. But that that's just a plan. Of course, I have no idea if it's going to work or not, but we're going to try it out. So let's, um, let's start off and let's see if we can't be moderately um, deliberate in what we do. What do those yellow things, those green things mean? They must be uh, inputs. We'll come back here. Now it is possible, I'm, I'm thinking that I do eventually want two chassis assembly areas in. So I might just put the two in now to save me worrying about them later. But that's just a, a blueprint there. Now, the blueprint is telling us that we have 13 minutes and 11 seconds. So I'm going to go to my trusty little gonculator over here. 13 times 60, because I'm terrible at math. 780 plus 11. 791 seconds. So every 791 seconds, we are going to produce a vehicle. Bargain. So then we get the fit body. And it's... 32 minutes. Well, that's exciting, isn't it? All right, so here's the first challenging part coming up now. So our baseline is 791. So I better write this down somewhere. Okay. Now, we're still in calculator mode. 
So what we can do here is go 32 times 60 plus 27 equals 1947 divided by 791. We need three of them. Lovely. Okay, we need three. So let's put three bodies in. I think that's right. Is that right? Or is that... No, that can't be the way of the... Can it? No, it can't be. I hope that's not the way of the conveyor belt. Let's try this. Let's just try this, shall we? Uh, not, uh, not in blueprint mode. It is. Oh, really? Good grief, man. Are you insane? Move. Rotate. Move. Rotate. Move. Too close. Okay, move. We need three of these. So if we come out of there, we might reasonably expect one, whoops, two, Hmm. Actually, let's just put those there for a minute because this one's going to be Jim Dandy. So the fit body is 32. And paint now takes 34. Uh, back to the calculator again. And we get 34 times 60 equals plus plus who? Plus nobody. That's what I say. Plus 24 equals divided by 791. Oh, it's interesting. That's three slots as well. Okay. That's three slots as well. Hmm. We could run them in parallel, actually. Why don't we do that? Because we could end up with a bottleneck if we do that. So let's just go along and see what what we've got going on here. We've got three, three, and three. That's paint. Now, fit engine is 22 minutes and 54 seconds. Now, that's interesting. So let's just go back to the calculator for a minute. 22 times 60 equals plus 54 seconds divided by 791 seconds. Two is the number of slots. The number of slots is two. Two, 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 two. Two, 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 two. two. Then we have fit electronics. 
which is two minutes even. That's interesting, isn't it? No, fit accessories. Ooh, that could have been dodgy. Left out a whole section. 14 minutes and 36 seconds. 14 minutes and 36 seconds is 876. So that's going to be two of those as well. Okay. And then the fit electronics is two minutes. So that's 120. So that's, well, we only need one of those. Because we're producing one car every 791. We only need one electronics. And then quality check, five minutes. Uh, now that could be interesting. Five sixes. Five sixes are 30. 300. Is that right? 300. So easy. We only need one of those as well. So now the question is, how shall we deal with this? And the answer is, first of all, let's put the export area in. And I think we're going to export down here as per our plan. Okay. Quality check. I think we should put near there, but not too close that we don't have some wiggle room. Fit electronics also we could put down there. And let's see what the gap is. One, two, three, four. One. Oh, did I do one? One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four. Gives us room. Room to grow. Room to do all sorts of things. Room to stay where we are. How about that? How about we just stay like that and see how we go? All right, let's start this off. Uh, ooh, ooh. We need, we need, what do we need? We need something. We need to see, um, we need to see what we're doing. So we're going to buy all of these. Because we are spending money. I hope you're all proud of me spending up all this money. Um, there is some hope in my heart that we will be successful in our current endeavours. Uh, now that's an interesting question actually which I don't know the answer to. If we go there and then across there, is that more efficient than going down there and then back up there? Uh, the first answer is that it actually costs less money. So the answer to the question is that's what, that's what we're going to do because why would you spend more money unless you were guaranteed an efficiency? Now, because we can't tell in which order these things are going to go through, we are going to... Now, what's the issue here? We go that way and then that way. is no different from going that way and then that way. I think what I would like to do is go this way, but one more and then come in like that.
Now, I'm not sure. I just feel that that may actually give us a little bit more control over where we're going in terms of yeah, in terms of how our cars have uh, functioned and spaced out. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I don't see that extra two there as being a huge issue. Or at least I hope it's not a huge issue. Now, then this, these, this, these, this, these are going like that, this. Straight out there. You can come straight up here, like so, and you can hook into there. Thusly, he said. That's looking amazingly useful. Strange things. Let's let's import some imports. We are going to need one right there for the start. And I think in this particular one, we might get away with one to start with. Right, just one. So we'll go up here like that. Actually, we'll run all the way up the side here like this. We will run across there, across here, across here, across here, and um, actually, I'll I'll go around, I'll go down here like so. Now, the only person not connected at the moment is this guy right here. And I know, well, I know. No, I don't know. I'm confident I'm going to be using an in importer there. Yep, I'm confident I am. So I'm going to run it from there, down to there, like so. And that covers everything. So just to recap, Chassis assembly, we are not going to improve chassis assembly. That's going to be our throttling mechanism. And we're going to use these guys to go out there. We are also going to spend some money and get a facility, which is a research office, because you can't have too many research offices uh, and I'm not going to read this because we read them in the first one it's fine it's all good and I'm going to do some research and the first bit of research is going to be in technology for our vehicles and we are going to go down the path of not safety not environmental although air conditioning mm, it's good Actually, I am a big fan of air conditioning. Because I think what we want to do is hit all the cheap ones first, really, to get the biggest bang for our buck up front. So, if I had a choice between music and aircon, I'd go music. So we're going to go music. Then we're going to go... Oh, sorry, we're going entertainment. Then we're going music. Okay? So we've got... Uh, 550 there, 750 there, 1300 roughly, queued up. Uh, we are not in car design yet, and we have not done anything with processes. Um, I'm happy with that for now, but of course, what we need to do now, what's your issue? Why are you complaining? Like, oh, you're on. No, stop. 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 We're 26 minutes in. It's not good enough. Um, we need a car. And this is going to be the sedan. 
Uh, and we might as well start off with the budget model. And we're going to put you at 23,500. Cool. And then we're going to have another one which doesn't exist yet. Actually, I'm, one of the things that I don't know from the last game is about the marketing. You know, if you've got a sedan, let's say, with nothing in it apart from basic car, uh, that's definitely a budget. But if you've got a sedan with music in it and no other car sedan has music in it, does that make it a luxury item? So what we're going to do is we're going to go sedan mid. Then we're going to go sedan X X and then we're going to go sedan luxury. B E um. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to keep these in alphabetic order, actually. It's a silly idea, anyway. Budget, expensive, which it shouldn't be. It should be mid-range next. So budget. Well, it's going to be the D-mid, isn't it? And then it's going to be the expensive, and then it's going to be the lux. But it's not in order. No, no, the budget, the D mid, the expense, and the lux. B, D, E, L. There you go, in order. And so what we'll do is we'll add features to the, to the luxury as we get them. Uh, and then we'll see if we can sell them it for um, $200,000. I'm perfectly sure it's going to be acceptable to everybody. Perfectly sure. Am I? Really? I don't think so. But you know what? We might just come off that. I mean, I don't need 190. Let's go 195. I'm 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 a bit loath to go 200,000 just on principle. So what are we going to do down here? Well, this is an interesting one, isn't it? Well, there's a budget sedan. I reckon we get three of those. Why have we only got luxes we can choose from? Total hourly production, all lines. <sighs> yeah, see, that tells you you can have more than one stand lux, stand budget. Where are the Where are the others? Sedan lux. Oh yeah, D mid range. Thank you. And the expensive. So the budget, the lux, the D mid, and the expensive. Okay, so we want. Three budget, two mid, well, probably the other way around actually, don't we? Let's do it this way. One lux, two expensive, so 
Sorry, what's going on here? The mid should be up there. Too expensive. Thank you. Three mid and four budget. Well, there you are. Okay, we've got R&D. We've got cars and their sedans. We've got a production facility and we're 26 minutes into the game. I think we should start. So, lady, oh, let's go down here and watch because this could be exciting. Oh, or it could be a complete and utter disaster. But ladies and gentlemen, I give you season two of production line producing things. Well, there goes headlights. I can see headlights. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to import. A lot. Okay, well, it's going well. Yep, message from the Chief Operating Officer. Thank you very much. You are very useful. I wonder if... Well, no, we have no resources, but I wonder if I needed a conveyor belt there. Let's wait and see. Many things are still coming in. In fact, enormous things are still coming. Actually, you know what? Let's just put this guy on pause for a minute and wait till everybody's got all their resources. Um, I think that might be a better way to go because look at what's coming in and we haven't even started yet. And look at how much money it's taking. Actually, the numbers aren't going down that badly. Here we go, we're getting resources in there. Wow, still importing resources. Over here, yep, and where? Over there. You're all, are you? I don't see anything. Maybe you don't need any resources at the moment. Okay. Well, hope oh, you're still waiting. Nothing's coming in. How are we looking? Looking pretty good, actually. All right. I think we should start and see where we end up. And away we go, everybody. Sedan, the budget. Yeah, 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 it's bringing stuff in. Okay. This is pretty good going, actually. Mind you, it does seem to need to import a lot. 1.4 million. One hour and 34 minutes in. And there goes our first... Chassis. Chassis? Is that what it is? Yep, that's our first chassis. It's in fit body. According to my theory, we needed three fit bodies. Now we shall wait and see. Here comes number two. So far, our mathematics have proven to be successful. One point three million. Well, it's probably a bit early to start worrying about going broke yet. Here comes number three. Now, the question is, will the first one that went into fit body be finished before the fourth one comes out of the um, chassis production area? I'm having a good feeling about... Oh, look at that. Yes, there is no bottleneck. There's a lot to be said for mathematics. Mathematics. 
a lot to be said for mathematics. But again, we still have to get through paint with our bottlenecks. So let's, I'm keeping a keen eye on this, but I'm, I'm feeling quietly confident. Ooh, look at you. You're just a bee's knees. So far, no bottlenecks. Well, you would have to say that even at this early stage of the game, the obvious fact that we have no bottlenecks means that we learned something, or at least I learned something from the last one, and that is... Try and use mathematics to figure out what's going on and make it run as efficiently as you can. 1.3 million. Um, losing money, but to be expected because A, we spent a whole uh, pile of it just building our factory floor. Uh, then we spent a whole pile of it buying resources to come in to build our cars. And uh, we haven't sold anything yet. Now, whether anything we built is going to be sold is a completely different issue, but there you go. And we have no bottlenecks. Uh, now, this is this is so enthralling. Uh, even though we're at my usual 30-minute limit now, I'm going to keep going until we get our first car through into the showroom because this is just... This is a huge improvement over the last botch-up. Uh, I might even be proud of my achievements. Um, maybe. Could be. Might. Could be. Might. Maybe. What are we doing over here? Okay, we've got both slots used here. Fit engine. We've got uh, brakes, wheels and tyres. First guy off. And we are seats, lights, and what else we got? Horns. Like it, like it, like it a lot. And still no bottlenecks. Okay, very happy with that. This one should be a doddle. By the time we come through there and head down here to the Fit Electronics, an absolute doddle. Okay, Electronics. Cool. True to quality. And straight through to our good friends in marketing. Well, not that they're anybody's good friends, but sure. There's the marketing dude right next to the water cooler on the mobile phone, just where you'd expect him to be. And... No bottlenecks. Okay. First car in the showroom. Fabulous. And it sold. Whoa! Well, not only do we get to end our first episode uh, with no bottlenecks in our brand new factory, um, but we also get to sell our first vehicle. The sedan budget, I believe it was. What's that look like for our profit margins? Eh, we've got a ways to go, but we'll get there. We will get there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap for the today. Um, that's excellent. That's a much better and much more positive uh, start uh, and groundwork than we were getting in our last series there. That was like, oh, died badly. Oh, died badly. But thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, I hope you are enjoying Production Line. I really am. Uh, which is why, of course, I like to 
to keep going even though I made a complete hash of it. It's quite a challenge and that's a good thing in the game. I really enjoy that. And I hope you're enjoying watching me klutz it around and, and finally get a handle, hopefully, on a few things. But anyway, um, I'll look forward to seeing you in the Geek Channel again very soon. Until then, please stay well and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.